Hi there, Jeff Coughlin, Scale Modelling Now. I've no idea whether you've seen these sword kits in 70 second scale, but I wanted to show you this um, Lightning F3 release uh, by the company. I've already built the T5, the two seat Lightning, and I really like the kit. It's got a few little um, areas that you need to, to work on, but I have to say, nothing that anyone with a little bit of experience couldn't uh, sort out. And then my good friend um, Les uh, gave me this as a bit of a present actually. In fact, he had made a start ages ago uh, on it. So there's just a couple of minor uh, additions uh, that you're, or as parts that are assembled, which you'll see in just a second. So just uh, look past that um, at the kit because I, I think it's an absolute uh, cracker of a model. So let's go inside. Let me take you inside and have a look at what we've got. Well, firstly, you've got some really nicely uh, tooled parts some very nice fine recessed panel lines uh, here and really subtle things like some lovely hub detail on the wheels. Um, you've actually got separate uh, flaps as well, which is uh, a neat touch. And coming across to the main fuselage halves, you can see here some really nice uh, molded detail, good shape uh, to the Lightning from what I can see. And because they do a whole range of different kits and especially uh, different versions of lightning of the lightning then you can see that you've got some slightly uh, uh, different modifications at the nose here for the guns um, and the barrels that would go in there or the uh, yeah the troughs that would go in there I should say and then moving up here we've got some nice undercarriage parts you've got um, different fins which is interesting uh, which is uh, which is good uh, but it's the Given that it's the F3, um, yeah, you could have a square or, um, sure, you probably just need the square fin for the F3, but never mind, you can uh, have a bit of a play with that, looking at references and looking at the options in the kit. Um, again, more more uh, nice hub detail here, decent front undercarriage and really nice nose wheel uh, there. Um, so that, uh, that all looks good. And then um, one of the really nice touches is, of course, you get um, resin. And there's an absolutely beautiful, um, beautifully cast uh, set of afterburner cans here to go in the back end. And those are a real feature, as you can imagine, for the Lightning. So those are, those are beautifully cast. Lovely little ejection seat, as you can see here. All molded on really well. Uh, all the cushions and so on certainly looks good. And then, of course, to top it off and really add the uh, finishing touches. You've got this beautiful um, pre-painted set of photo etch for the cockpit itself. Really fine, um, finessed, beautiful little parts going on there. And then we move on <coughs> to a really nice decal sheet that, is, that has been printed by uh, Edouard for the company. Stunning, uh, as you can imagine, schemes going on here really really excellent and i'll show you those when we get to the end really high quality decal sheet and then you've got oh just take you through the clear transparencies really nicely molded nothing wrong with those lovely to see the separate canopy proper uh decent chunky frame going on there which is excellent and then coming to the instructions so you've got a little fold out leaflet here well you know given the scale it's not overly complicated Goes, shows you very clearly what you need uh, to do to pull it all together, starting with the cockpit, cockpit tab, and you've got the photo etch going on there. Got the, uh, the bypass radar nose cone here, which is good, and um, Les has already assembled that and put some liquid uh, gravity in there, which is, is cracking stuff to help keep the nose uh, down. And then you've got um, the options here, of course, the correct options for the F3 for the front end. Um, so you can see here, just taking you through the instructions, it's a very straightforward kit, straightforward build, and assuming everything fits all right, and there's no reason to think that it won't, looking at the parts that look very well molded. This is gonna look uh, to be a very nice uh, model indeed. And in fact, let me just whiz you back here, just noticing the undercarriage doors and the wheelbase. Just bring you back over here to check out the wings. And so inside, the upper wing, you've got a very nicely detailed uh, bit of detail going on there for the bay itself. The bays are 
good depth to them, just about right, I'd suggest, for, um, for the Lightning, which has got a very thin wing anyway. And then, of course, whilst you, we are back on those sprues, you've got um, the Fire Street missiles uh, here. Or, if you choose, you can have the Red Tops, which are the other ones that are included, which is excellent to, uh, to see that. <coughs> back to the instructions. Option here, as you can see, for those drop flaps and rolling on under courage up down different missiles um, and fit out going on there and then of course you've got some hints and tips here for the various air scoops and angles of the wing and undercarriage everything else that you need to get really uh, spot on I think for the lightning for it to look right and there you go um, one of the main options is the <clears throat> trouble one squadron um, sort of black fin uh, aircraft which is a really striking scheme over natural metal, that, that really is a, a, a corker, it has to be said. And then, um, of course, you've got another couple of options, so if we just flick the box top over, here we go, you've got that um, Trouble One Squadron F3, or you've got the uh, very astonishing um, red and white checker uh, spined um, F3 from 56 Squadron uh, Fibers, which is uh, really, uh, striking too so two great choices and options for the kit and I have to say I, I think the price is astonishing given what you get the resin you get the photo etch pre-painted color photo etch decent decals great levels of detail I mean what on earth is there not to like about this kit um, well at the moment nothing so it gets a full five star rating from me and we absolutely will be building this and what I'll be interested to do is to also build the FX lightning in 72nd scale and we can do a little bit of a a little bit of a comparison going on there, but very interesting when you start to look at what's included in either package. I mean, great to have the relatively new tool FX kit, but when you've got this sword kit available, well, talk about giving it a run for a money. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see how that all pans out. So there we go. That's a quick look inside the box. And as is typical with these uh, inbox reviews, we're not going into massive great technical detail. You know, go and find some lot of the references for that. There, there are endless references on the lightning out there if you want to. Um, to, to do that. This is all about trying to give you an insight into what's in the box, what's included, what have you got in terms of basic quality and uh, provision by the manufacturer and hopefully we've done that and I hope you enjoyed this short review and look forward to the build coming up soon.